what is yeah. crop rotation? It's very simple really. Just you take your vegetable plot and divide it into four sections. Okay. And you grow, for example, potatoes in year one in one quarter of it. Okay. The following year, year two, it moves on to the second quarter. Okay. Third quarter, fourth quarter, and in year five it'll be back. Okay. Where it was. So that plot got four years of a break. From potatoes. From potatoes. So yes. there's no so build up of soil borne pests and diseases. Okay. And why if if that's what it is, I suppose why why is it important to do that? Why can't I just mm. grow potatoes there every year? Yeah, it has to a number of reasons really. I already mentioned build up of soil borne pests and diseases. And really only soil borne pests and diseases. A slug doesn't mind if your potato is here or lettuce is there, it'll find it. Yeah. First of all, no rotation is the same. Every yeah. gardener has okay. a different rotation, depending on what they like to eat okay. and how much. Okay. But I have a fairly good rotation that works. Yeah. We'll start so starting with the, with, with with the potatoes, potatoes, shall we? We're going to put, put a few more of those in there. Yeah. Um, and potatoes, are we going to put anything else in with the potatoes? N not really, because you probably eat a lot of potatoes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our, our carrot family mm -hmm. here, which is... Does it matter which, which one it no, goes into? No, we'll put it here. Okay. So that's carrots, parsnips, celery, parsley, and uh, what have we not got? The dill and coriander. They're all in the Could carrot family. As well. Yeah. Okay. So they follow the potatoes, yeah? The potatoes move here. And the carrots follow them. Follow them. Okay. And they're they are very high yielding. You know, you get hundred carrots or so in one square meter. Yeah. So you you don't need much space. So what we'll do is we'll find them a partner. We we'll find another family for them okay. to occupy. And we'll choose the alliums, the onion family. Okay. So that's gonna be our, our Two onions plus our leeks, garlic. Chives and, and shallots. shallots. And were we saying that then, so your potatoes are heavy feeder, these are relatively light, light feed feeders? Light feeders, correct. Okay. So and they're followed again with a heavy feeder. Now okay. guess which one is the heavy feeder of I think the... the brassicas. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So our brassicas then, unusually as we, as we already discussed, is our... Sweet. Our sweet, our turnips. We've got our cabbages, things like Brussels sprouts. Brussel. Cauliflower, cauliflower, kale, kale kohlrabi. and all your orientals like the rocket and Mitsuna mustard and uh, also radishes are in that family. So it's a big family. Yeah. So they'll occupy the whole yeah. section so, easily. And this again, so as we've said, is a heavy feeder. So that's kind of alternating exactly. to so your gap between. Year one and these move, follow them in year two and they follow them in year three. Okay. So heavy feeder, light feeder, heavy feeder. And, and now we have the rest, and isn't that easy? Yeah. So, so all the odds or the rest, they can go here. Okay, so we've got, to start, we've got our, our, our legumes, so yeah. peas, and, peas beans. and beans. They fix we'll nitrogen, there. so they'll benefit the potatoes the following year, yeah. because they leave some nitrogen in the ground. Okay, we've got our beetroot and leaf beets, like chard and yeah, correct. Uh, spinach, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. We've got our uh, courgettes, squashes, Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Okay, down in there. And then, and then our salad leaves, lettuce. And exactly, yeah, yeah, they can go there as well. Now with salads, lettuce, I mean, they can go anywhere. There's a gap. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be too stuck with them yeah. now that they're just in that plot. Yeah. If the early potatoes are dug out, put a crop of lettuce in yeah. or when you, you know, they're great gap fillers. Yeah. So don't, don't just have them there. Put them anywhere. Okay. And I suppose, would it be important to sort of say to, to finish, Klaus, that you don't need to get too sort of stressed out about this stuff? No, if, don't know, get stressed at all, no. It doesn't have to be 100% It doesn't accurate. have to be rigid, yeah. You could be more flexible with it, yeah. That's good news.